Alright guys, before we start the video, I just wanted to uh, tell you a secret. <laughs> okay, uh, actually what I did is uh, I did a, a secret raffle. So, the uh, reason behind that is because it's actually my birthday week. Yay! Happy birthday to me! Alright, so <laughs> one of the subscribers, which you see on the screen, is the winner. He won a slash Valkyrie. So for the next video, I want you guys to, uh, or if you wanted to be on the raffle, you just need to subscribe and also comment. And then I'm going to choose one lucky winner for the next one or next giveaway, which is Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> An original Zwei Longinus. So, well, just all you guys need to do is to uh, uh, subscribe and uh, comment on this video. So you'll be on this uh, raffle. The winner will be announced in the next video. So uh, let's proceed now and uh, check out the, the video and enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? It, this is Black cat playing again uh, for another edition of uh, honest review of one of the newest release from uh, <laughs> Takara Tomy uh, that will be Hyperion Burn Cho Exceed Dash Plus X <laughs> quite a handful for the name huh <laughs> alright now uh, I'm, I'm really excited reviewing this one because this is a, well, well, a, a very good improvement and also introducing uh, a new uh, format or let's just say uh, gimmick which is they call a uh, limit break uh, or limit breakthrough for the layers now here's the thing this uh, this new Beyblade was only released by Takaratomi with the Beyblade limit break DX set that was released recently and it comes with the uh, Hyperion Burn and also its brother Helios Volcano both features the uh, limit break or limit breakthrough uh, capabilities for each layer and also dash drivers and uh, well all, all of them are new parts to be honest so it also includes two uh, uh, launchers that will be uh, sparking launchers one for for right spin one for left respectively and also the what they call the new stadium uh, they call it the dash stadium uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to review that later on and also uh, we're gonna review the other one the Helios volcano as well now that will be for next video <laughs> okay so let's uh, get started and uh, it looks really cool I've also attached it to the stickers and uh, let's dive right onto it by uh, checking the parts. So let's disassemble it. Alright, well, we're ready to uh, disassemble it and uh, ready to uh, we'll present you each part uh, for the uh, uh, newest Hyperion Burn. So <laughs> let's start with the core part. Now, as you can see, the core part has metal on it. So it adds more weight. Which is really cool. Now, on top of that, the core chip also has metal on it. It's really cool. As you can see, there you go. There are the, there's the rivets or uh, stamp and screws or what you might call it. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's metal. It has metal embed on it. Compared with the uh, core chip for Lucifer, also has metal on embed because of the core the core chip is combined in this one. For this, it's actually separate. So, on, right on top, of, right, on, right on, uh, off the bat, right on top, these are let's just say parts that you can actually use in a tournament. Really good parts. It adds really good weight. So we're gonna go ahead and measure the weight and compare it to the heaviest one. So yeah, let's proceed to the next part. This is actually the newest gimmick. It's the uh, burn attack layer. Now. It's thick. Let's just say the a little bit of the chassis part is actually combined to it, and it's actually exclusive for this type of uh, blade, uh, Beyblades, uh, the limit break uh, system. Now, uh, the limit break system works as like there is this switches, 
trigger switches, I call them. Or I'm not really sure what to call them, but there are switches that will trigger the uh, the uh, ability or the limit break, a limit breakthrough. So if, uh, or let's just say, how will you activate that? I'm gonna go ahead and explain there. Let's go, which is actually the next part that, well, also exclusive for the breakthrough system or limit breakthrough system. We call this part Cho. It's actually a weight disc, a very weird weight disc, looking weight disc. Basically, uh, as you can see, the look of uh, the looks uh, by the looks of it, uh, it's uh, ha it has an uneven distribution of weight, and it's quite heavy. So, well, we can compare it later with the wheel, but I would like to compare it more with the chassis uh, for uh, our lineup for our sparking or super game blades. So, let me show you how it works. Okay, so if you're gonna, as you can see, it, it has a very tall. Uh, attachment here so basically this is only compatible with the limit breakthrough system so uh, let me show you how it works so let's see now as you uh, if you can see it there's like this tri uh, trigger here this the this ridge this ridge or this protrusion here is the one that triggers the switch for it to uh, have its limit breakthrough system work. So remember, or let's just set, set an example. Remember uh, Excalibur. If you still remember the Excalibur or Excalius uh, line of Beyblades, uh, the long, the longer it fights, or the more damage it receives, the more the uh, chassis and the uh, attack layer line up for a more unbalanced and effective attack. Uh, you know, a recoil or a burst of attack. It's something like that, but now it's more systematic because the the more that Beyblade receives damage, the 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 more it comes to its limit break. So, how it works when when this gets the, when the, the switch the switch just gets pushed, it will release wings like this. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? It's actually it's actually spring loaded again. Oh, there you go. Both sides need to be pushed. Really nice. It gets bigger. The attack range gets bigger. And it's spring loaded. I'm gonna explain the advantages and disadvantages of this one now. Like I promised, how it works is you assemble your bay like this, right? You'll see the ridges. Here's the ridge, right? So if you get attacked and get damaged by the click, it will trigger it. So for this one, it's one click. We will test it out later. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's assemble it later on and see how it really works. So there you go. Again, this weight, uh, weight disc is exclusive. can only be used for the uh, limit breakthrough system. And let's proceed with the two, the next two new parts. Let's uh, get this guys out. This part is one of the reasons why you need to buy this set, <laughs> because what we have right now is an exceed dash. Very nice. Exceed is like, let's just say, the most aggressive. Um, one of the most aggressive. Uh, attack drivers in existence right now uh, the reason why it's more aggressive in my opinion it's more aggressive than a screen dash and quick dash is because of this uh, free spinning part here now what we have right now is a dash version so um, how can I compare it to uh, let's just say it's like a destroy dash but has a rubber tip on it Imagine that. So <laughs> there you go. Now the extra part that we get from the set is actually the X plus or plus X. It's the X part. What it does is that it, it you can attach it to the driver like this. There you go. Attach it like that. Line it like that. And it, it it's metal, by the way. It adds weight on it and it locks the free spinning part 
of the attack driver. Now, what it means is that, I told you earlier, the free spinning part of this driver makes it really aggressive, right? So, by locking it like this, it gives it a more a controlled attack pattern, in my opinion. Uh, but we will test it out just to sh just, just to be sure and just to see, all right? And it also protrudes the rubber tip more. So there you go. Now it's a really cool part here because it doesn't it doesn't just add the weight on it. It also helps it to not uh, knock knock itself out out of the stage because of the uh, aggressiveness of the driver. So uh, a lot of people says that. Unfortunately, this actually reduces the, uh, uh, let's just say, the uh, life after death stats of the blade because it removes the free spinning part because that helps life after death. Uh, I agree to that opinion because when I actually tested this out, I personally tested this out, it actually uh, loses stamina real quick compare it to the, uh, the one if you remove the X part here. So uh, that's it, let's assemble it. So by the way, I just wanted to point out that because this is actually a new gimmick or a new part for the Beyblade, it doesn't, it does, the uh, layer doesn't have a locking mechanism for the chip. So what you just do is you just push it in like that and it's locked there. Now, if you're gonna assemble it, you need to be careful because you need to push it with the chip so it bites. There you go. Now, basically, if you spin it, the limit break will trigger, so all you need to do is just push the big wings in and it will push the, the small wings in as well. So, now, let me show you how it works, all right? So, basically, if we click it or if it receives damage, it clicks one click from bursting, right? Two, three, four. Four clicks to burst. Now, the thing here is that if you click like that, the, in the first click, that's where the uh, activation of the limit break happens. There you go, on the first click. So if it receives a very strong attack, it will release extra blades, longer attack range, and also it will give a little bit of a defensive capability because if uh, if the uh, if your opponent or the, uh, if the opponent Beyblade hits this part, it has this spring-loaded mechanism that can bounce it. You know, uh, it can be used as, as a defense or it can also be used as an attack if it hits this part while spinning. But if it directly hits this part, it just bounces right off. So it's like a shock absorber. Uh, we can compare it with uh, the system of uh, Poison Hydra. The rubber for shock absorbing, something like that. So there you go. It's again spring-loaded. It activates real quick. It's also... Uh, that's also how the uh, Helios Volcano works. So it's really cool, right? So there you go. Now, uh, here's the uh, part that interests me. As you can see, this has like the left spin marker and the right spin marker. So if you have this on a right spinning Beyblade, which is the Hyperion Burn itself, the limit break trigger is closer to the start. So that's the reason why it's one click ahead. It activates. But if you're gonna use it on the left spin, which is Helios Volcano, it will activate late game for left spin. So there you go. Now, it really, it really is cool now. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Uh, we need to weigh this, okay? Let's compare it with the, uh, uh, the other part or the heaviest parts of uh, sparking so let me go ahead and grab my uh, weighing scale and let's check this one out all right now let's do the weigh in for the parts uh let's go with the courtship first now as filming of this after the for the filming of this uh, video uh this is the heaviest i think uh heaviest part of courtship 
that I can actually gather in my collection. Uh, I have Spriggan, it's lighter. I don't have the, uh, the Diabolos. Uh, you can actually just correct me if I'm mistaken if this if that's heavier than this But if you weigh it like this It is 5.6 now compare it to the courtship for uh, Hyperion burn. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you how to remove this because it doesn't have a locking mechanism All you need to do is to push it and it snaps right out. There you go So let us I'm sorry. I got distracted over there. Let's weigh it again 5.6 you see that 5.6 all right so that will be lucifer now for uh, hyperion the new burn uh, hyperion burn 5.7 5.7 let's just to be sure all right let's lay it flat 5.7 so it's heavier i think that the additional core or metal core is the one that contributed to the extra gram or 0.1 gram that was added so okay let me let me again test it out 5.7 there you go now we're sure 5.6 5.7 there you go so uh burn or hyperion burn core chip is heavier there you go so let's now uh check out the chassis as of the filming of this video, the heaviest chassis that I own is the uh, uh, World, or I'm sorry, not the World. <laughs> it's from World Spriggan. Uh, it's the uh, 2B chassis. So we're gonna weigh it in. It's uh, there you go, 46.7. Now, if we're going to weigh the Cho, Cho weigh this. 46.7 for the uh, 2B show. Oh, it's lighter. Well, I think the reason for that one is because the part of the chassis is on the attack layer. So if we're going to weight that out, it's heavy. So there you go. Those are the weight comparison. And um, I'm thinking of testing the stadium for the battle. But uh, let's see. Uh, see you guys in the test battle, all right? Alright, let's uh, do a uh, test launch. Let me just go ahead and assemble the bay. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it with the uh, XT, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Xseed uh, plus X. There we go, Xseed dash plus X. There we go. Let's do a test launch. It's heavy. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. By the way, I'm using the uh, the Dash Stadium. They say that it's actually good for attack types, attack type Beyblades. There you go. As you can see, it doesn't have that much of a, uh, a stamina. It's uh, it's actually not so balanced. Uh, let's do a test launch again. Three, two, one, go! Shoot. Now here's the thing, as you notice, the uh, the attachment, the X metal attachment for the Exceed Dash prevents the Beyblade or the Exceed Dash to be uh, uh, aggressive, that it's so much aggressive, aggressive that it prevents it from knocking it, knocking itself out. So there we go. If we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the uh, X attachment, there you go. It's just Exceed Dash. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Three, two, one, go shoot. As you can see, it's very prone to self-knockout because of the aggressiveness. Another one, just to be sure. Three, two, one, go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Again, three, two, one, go. Shoot. As you notice, it has more stamina, but still unbalanced compared to the one if we're gonna go ahead and attach the X metal attachment to the XC driver. So again, let's launch it again. You will notice it's more aggressive. Three, two, one, go shoot. See? So there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, test this out with three uh, Super King Beyblades. Uh, we're gonna test it with uh, Awakened uh, 
Barbarian Lucifer. We're also going to test it with Great Valkyrie Awakened uh, Evolution Dash and also the World Spriggan. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a test battle now. There you go. Test battle time with Great Valkyrie. One, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Hmm, okay. Stamina battle. Okay. Next battle. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Whoa. What a knockout. Alright, last round. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, I see the limit break was released. But unfortunately, it's not enough to defeat Brave Valkyrie. <laughs> Alright. Second test battle, Variant Lucifer, Awake. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Limit break mode. Oh! I think it's a draw. Limit break was released. Okay. Alright, second battle. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Hmm, okay. That's what I'm talking about. There's a chance that there is actually a knockout that will ha that might happen if the opposing big blade is hit by the limit break mode when it starts. So there you go. Last round for Valent Lucifer. Or Variant Lucifer. I'm sorry. Okay. Didn't know it bursted in the last one. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Wow. That was quick. Alright. That's it for Variant Lucifer. Alright. Last battle. With World Spriggan in right spin. Defense mode. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Limit break mode. Early on. Big hits. Unfortunately, it's not enough to topple down the world. Second battle, world's Three, two, one, go shoot. 2, 1, go shoot. Limit break on. And it's still not enough to defeat the world. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's it for our test battle. And uh, hope you like it, guys. <laughs> As I said earlier, uh, the uh, X attachment on the XC dash actually reduces its life after death stats but it prevents it from going out of the page so uh hope you like it guys uh please remember to like subscribe and comment and remember our birthday week or my birthday week uh promo or birthday week raffle so i'm gonna go ahead and uh be raffling what uh, you saw earlier That'll be the Azwe uh, Diabolos. And uh, next video, I will review the other Beyblade, which is this one. It's the Helios one. So that will be Helios Volcano Zone Dash. So, see you guys in the next Beyblade battle for Black Cat Blade. Ciao!